Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Mad 8 today and today we're just going to do the uh, the after clean um, and after restoration demo of this uh, Hoover Junior U1036 from 1980. Now this one in fact was bought originally as a parts machine but as you can see um, this one was fully, was in fact, uh, in fact a better condition than the other one that we had side by side with it. All right, good boy. There's so, uh, just going to show you the rate of the sticker. The only thing that is actually up. wrong with it that I've found with it is the the little clip that holds. It's not holding in there, but I'm actually going to put a bit bit of a uh, vocal in there later on after the video, uh, just so it stays in place. Off the news desk now. So what we're going to do now? I'm just going to show you the rate and sticker again. I'll show you some of the features. Um, cock, it, cock it down. No. This is when Hoover first introduced the uh, two stage. The two stage button on the. This was one of the the, the original um, one of the original versions of the um, high power Hoover Junior. So this one. No. When the two stage kit comes in. I don't know. Do you want it? Do you want it everyone? Yeah. So this one was in fact Holy a. Holy God. So it's a October 1980 model. Um, in fact, and why? They don't pop on, do they? I don't know. And um, in fact, no, well, Jackson used the same base plate the first one. Look. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. This one was the first time they introduced the uh, the bag. These these bits here do wash off very easily. In, so, um, in they do a top feel high power. They do an all all dirt shirt just as high powered. Yeah. And that's still got that pinned up on it. Yeah. So these bits here. The high power and all the dirt shirts. Do wash off very easy. Um, what's what, great. What I did, you need to wear this one. What I would recommend they do if you've got any of these sorts of bags is to actually. Um, I only actually. I actually left the top. Um, as you can see, it was a little bit brown from the top. Yeah, these do not move. I wanted to put on the move ones on there. No, they don't. Why? The so, other ones do to move. As you can see, this bit the here. The other ones do to spin. Yes. Oh. As you can see, this bit here is still a little bit dirty, but that's because I didn't actually have this bit in the water. Where's the pointy bit that comes out? I don't from? know. That's missing. Yeah. Maybe shaft off. No, I'm going to push it in. The bag. Most of the dirt on these are at the bottom of the bag, so just wash the bottom and leave this at the top. Um, um, uh, let's just see what rubber seed bag we got. So we have got a rubber bag. We have got a fibre bag in there now. There's one of those old uh, rubber seed bags. That's one of those rubber seed bags. Yeah. The, the ones that lose most of the dirt out there. The one that works for Hoover Seniors. Yeah. And they've got two bags around. They've got so, eight. They've got this cough. Bag on outside of what maybe hold whatever comes out there. Yeah. yeah. This this machine didn't have a lot of use because when I stripped it all down, there was loads of brush. Uh, the bristles were the brushes were quite long, and as well, if you have a look at the uh, brush bar, I mean I have repainted the brush bar oh. on it. Oh, I did it. I did it yesterday. Did it a couple of days ago. Um. There is quite a lot left. On the bristles there. He painted it back. So it's gone back to black. This was the actual original colour. The other one was like a, a brownie colour. Um, I think at the time yep. Hoover used black or like a dark brown. And this is a plastic fan. Uh, yeah, also has a plastic fan on this one. No, in the other one I got, it's got metal. Yeah. So the other one of these I got, it's got metal on. Yeah. I oh, wouldn't the metal version. So the original U1036 from the 1970s in like a like a goldy colour. Um, and when that you one. Like, and when you like the metal. Fan. That one had a metal fan. Um, well, this one in the 1980s they they made they made them lighter and a um, bit cheaper, um, and they put a plastic fan in them. And when you, um, and when also, you, and when you 
keep one with the metal fan in there too. Yes. I want both of them. You have got one with a metal fan in it. Yeah. This also has the metal base plate on it, opposed to when the Lemble What's 4, a finger? When the Lemble 4 come out, they also uh, replaced that with plastic. Uh, um, this no, one. If I didn't make it feel the feet of metal. Yeah. This one also. This bit here is made of metal. It's still selling that yeah. paint, that yeah. horrible painty shell. Yeah, I've only done it three days ago, but we've had such dry weather, it's dried pretty quick. And it still sounds like a horrible paint. Yeah. Barney paint shell. Yeah. They were going to get your house painted, that horrible shell. Yeah. So this one. Um, Wait, where's was, the pipe resource? This one has oh, the. I've yeah. This one also has the metal um, back and plate um, where they. Later on, they made that into plastic. Um, so what we're going to do now, we'll give this one a go. We'll, we'll set this Yo, one up. and what setting one? On? Right. Now this one, the original, the other one we had, actually had a, it looks like it being replaced with U1036 parts. So we'll, we'll put this one on number two. Or we'll try number three first, actually. Um, because it's got fairly long bristles on it. No. Yeah, I've already said I that. I hate that. Yeah, that's fine. No, and what happened to screws that have been tightened? It has been tightened. It's... And it will hold on. What's, what's... Yeah, what happened What happened it needs what... part of the structure? Yeah, what's happened? No, it won't because it's all closed in. Oh. This one, in fact, um, there's a little bit of plastic that on... should hold it in. And it's an ornal studio, doesn't it? The shots down there. That's like right. It's got a little quack. But it's got like a little cover plate on these. Yeah, like, not like an ornal studio. So yet. what I will do... You need a little quack in it. I will fasten it, but for the video, I just wanted to show you what that was the only thing that was actually broken on the actual machine. I want to use this vacuum. So let's uh, give this one a push around now. And it will be down like the plastic one. It will be down like the plastic fan. There were a couple of scratches on the top of there, but I mean, like you say, it's almost, it's 38 years old. Um, oh. Well, it done a plastic fan when it took apart this there. It's going to be that now. Yeah. So this one does run really well. Um, I hate bending down, plugging it in, turning it on. We don't know it's on. It's on. Thank you. It's just, just going to turn this button. So it should, I've also removed the suppressor out of this one as well. And what happened? It goes bang. It won't, because the suppressor no, is gone. Ah, let's go show them the suppressor, actually. Um, but basically there, is one that's blown and this one come down. has come out of there but that one feels like it was going to blow that one was almost going to blow that one probably would have gone up in smoke and this one's bowed yeah but that's one that didn't be bowed no but that one's got a crack in it so it's more likely going to blow anyway yes so maybe, maybe they are this, very easy to, to pull maybe out maybe for this video and I've that one on there. Yeah, I've had, I've had a couple of them blown now, so they, they there. come out. The news hit today, that might bone like that, that such The thing. original U1036 had the big uh, disc ones, didn't it? That might one. bow, no, and that's in that scene now. Yeah. And I'll turn it on in a minute and we'll go bang. Yeah, it probably would have, yeah. So, well, uh, let's give this one a quick push around well, now. The next time we news it, we'll go oh, bang. We haven't put no dark down for it there. because... Um, it is such a nice example of this one. The parents have been pleased on it. They're uh, running really well. See, I'll put uh, generic belts in them because the uh, original ones are hard to get rid of. Them. I think they're spread for the time. So, is that it for it? 
Yes, and I think it's struggling on the carpet with those bare. Yeah. The, the issue is with it today, I've got a generic belt in it and um, the original belts have got grooves in it which um, so these will actually slip a little bit plus as well I've repainted I hate that horrible burners! Yeah but, so that burning smell is, the fact is I've pre-painted it um, and it has got a brand new belt Burn it! Something burning wood! Yeah it's fine so uh it is running fine. I mean, I'll push it around myself. I'm not worried about it. He's a bit paranoid about things, I guess. Piece of this one. Oh, I want to get that. Yeah, let's go. Let's do some window cleaning now. So, uh, car, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you on the next one. And uh, bye from Vacuum Addict, and please subscribe to the channel. Bye. What